Hello, everyone. I'm Joseph Jaraputo, the founder and editorial director of Global Finance, speaking to you from New York. I will be joined by Dr. Ada Udense, the managing director of Nigeria's Titan Trust Bank in Lagos. Titan only received its license in 2019, but is already transforming the Nigerian banking scene. Last year, it acquired Union Bank, one of the country's oldest and largest banks. Ada, welcome. Thank you very much. And good to see you again. Uh, what's the outlook for Nigeria's economy and how have economic trends affected Titan Trust Bank's strategy and performance? There's the global inflation and Nigeria is not exempted from that. Uh, inflation in Nigeria continues to trend upwards. Um, it's been tough. And um, when it gets tough, you have to think, put on your thinking cap and think strategically. And that's what we've done. Just like the strategy with which we entered the market, we could see this, the gaps in, in the trade space and we decided to take it. Titan Trust Bank has rapidly increased its customer base since it was formed in 2019. What's driving the bank's successful customer strategy and how will this growth be sustained? I think for us, it's about listening to your customer and understanding what the customer's pain point is. Also understanding that no two clients have the same problem and no two transactions are the same. And so there is no, no, not one telemate product meant for everybody. So we're constantly listening to our customers. And then we tell you the truth. We tell you what we can do and we tell you what we can do. We believe that it's best to under promise and over deliver than promise you that we're going to be everything and then disappoint you. We found that our clients tend to prefer people who bankers that tell them the truth. At least they know what challenges they're going to face up front. And then we provide you a solution that would work. So it's not just enough to say this is the problem. We tell you this is the solution. And this is how we are going to do it. And we're going to work with you from the beginning to the end. Secondly, we don't get into any transaction that we don't see the end from the beginning. So we need to see how we're going to come out of it at the time we're going into it. And so we're able to draw that map for the client. The client now knows that you understand their transaction and you understand their business. There are businesses that are cyclical. And so if you expect to see the same type of turnover that you see in a certain season at another season, then that will be most unfair on the business. So you need to understand the cycle of that business and know that at this time they are stocking up. They are not doing a lot of selling. So they are doing a lot of importing. You work with the client in that same manner. Then we've got what we call our trusted advisors. And their work is to listen to the customer and make sure that you try your best to address the customer's problems. So not all problems are possibly uh, addressed because you can't be everything to everybody, but you're going to continue to make sure that as much as possible at any point in time, the client knows I can count on Titan Trust Bank. They'll tell me the truth. They will direct me. They will guide me. They will tell me what to do. And even when they have problems with their other bankers and they say, hey, can I run this by you? And they talk to us. We're able to tell, I'm able to tell you. My colleagues are able to tell you. Do it this way. Go that route. This is the reason why your bank is doing this. This is what you need to do to resolve this. And so th that gives our clients a sense of they are there for you and they've got your back and they're going to be with you all through. So you keep, we keep getting referrals. We also have what we call the power of five. So for every new client we get, we ask you to introduce us to five of your friends or competitors. They don't need to be your friends, but these are five people who give you sleepless nights in this sector. And we go after them. And when we get those five, and even if we're able to get two of the five, we ask them to refer us to another five. And so the power of five has continued to help us to grow. 
So we keep stretching and we're stretching and we're stretching. And when we come into an ecosystem, we try to take the entire value chain. We take the client, we take your suppliers, we take your staff, we offer them retail loans, we fund your, your, your suppliers. So we bridge that funding gap. And so by the time we take the entire value chain, we're also growing our customer base. And for each group, there is a product service for them. And that has continued to help us to thrive. So the referral has been very good and we continue to push it. That's helped us a lot. The power of five, that's very interesting. Yeah. As, uh, uh, as Nigeria's banking industry embraces digital transformation, how is Titan updating this digital platform and its products and services to retain its competitive edge? Digitally, we are ready. I'm sure if you just search us on the internet, you'll see that through this digital transformation that's been going on in the last uh, couple of months, Titan came out as a bank that stood out in serving the customers, serving the general public. You would hear the public, they were on Twitter, they were everywhere talking about Titan Trust Bank. This is one bank that... No matter how tough it is, go there, you're going to get served. You will get served. Their ATMs are up and running. It doesn't shut down. It doesn't break down. Banks had customers get so upset and try to destroy things. We never had any such incident. Because whether you are a customer or not, once you come in and you're on the line, you know you're going to get served. And that, again, helped to grow our customer base. People were trooping in here, opening accounts, just moving their businesses to us and all of that. I took a meeting today with a very big client of one of the very big banks. And the only reason he's moved to us is the fact that we seem to be one of the few that are technologically resilient and ready for today. And his bank has not been up to it. I say your bank is a good bank, is a strong bank, is a well-known bank, but probably not as prepared as they wanted, they would have preferred to be for what is happening today and what the central bank wants to achieve today in Nigeria. So we're set, we're ready, we're good, and we're enjoying the benefits of that. Uh, Adi, uh, this has all been very interesting. Um, and uh, um, thank you for joining us. And, and I hope we can have you back again. Thank you. Thank you very much.